Eastern Conference collision. The top spot in the standings is on the line as the New York Red Bulls are set to host the Houston Dynamo. A perfect Friday night for MLS on NBC Sports Network. As we sit to Joel Lampere comes on the left-hand side. Dax McCarty back from yellow card suspension. But the big news is up top. Thierry Henry pairs up alongside Kenny Koo. He had so much time and room on that left-hand side getting isolated. He was the one player that absolutely dominated in that attacking final third for Houston. Yeah. Red Bulls in the white, Houston the orange, and we are underway. Sporting Kansas City, something to say about it as well, but the winner tonight takes sole possession of first place in the Eastern Conference. Here's trying to feed Cooper. He'll get to that ball first. He's got Henri in the center unless he wants it himself. The cross it's dead five. So two. What a block by Jermaine Taylor right in front. For the New York Red Balls, it's a slotted ball in behind Kenny Cooper. He sees Thierry Henry. He elects to cut back, and that's the little bit of a, a change in the dynamic tonight. Lane getting pulled back there by Kanji or once we play on. Akuma Kanji gets away from the outside back. Holgerson to meet him. Kanji gets by him and it's off the outside of the heading. Well, you get all the good and the bad of Matt Kanji in this replay. He fights through, uses those long legs, and watch the speed. Slight hesitation, gets away from Connor Lane. Step over, gets away from Marcus Holgerson. This is the part of Matt Kanji's game that is missing. Well, you've talked about that before, how active a coach Dominic Kinnear is vocally with his team. What, an effect, or what effect does that have on his players? Well, I, it's, I think it's just accountability. And he's got such a loud voice, and Dominic Kinnear coaches the same. Lovely slip through ball for Thierry Henry. Sizing up Tally Hall, saved. And behind for a corner. Well, perfectly weighted ball in behind. You see Limper. Top of the 18-yard box, Thierry Henry's got time. He slows himself down. And the big decision for Tally Hall is starting position, right in the middle. Doesn't even... Give Thierry Henry a thought that he's going to take away that near post. Stays big as much the front of the back four. The Houston Dynamo have been talking about, we're okay giving up possession in front of us. We just want to keep our back four intact. Big bodies forward as Henry sets it in, and it's wide the header from Tim Cahill. One of the most prolific goal scorers with his head in modern Premier League history. A good whipped in ball from Thierry Henry. And how you leave a guy like Tim Cahill that unmarked. It's brittle. It's tactically continuing to play in this formation in the right way. Long for Henri, lays it off. Tim Cahill trying to control. Tim Cahill puts it over the bar. Marcus Olgerson clipped up ball over the top. Header won by Thierry Henri. And he just puts it in a great spot. Terry Henry sets up Tim Cahill to just take a touch. And as he settles, one of the most difficult things is... Red Bulls keep Holderson forward. Pierce will retreat. As Miller gets in the cross, it's towards the two Cahill and stabbed in. And the Red Bulls have their opening goal from the center back, Marcus Holderson. You can never give up goals off throw-ins, and it's just too easy. Roy Miller's allowed the time and space after he throws it in. This Limpere just sets it off perfectly. Floated ball, back door, and Tim Cahill. We talk about how ruthless he is with his... Neutralized by New York tonight. And Brian Ching, 81 goals in his career. Fourth amongst active goal scorers in league history. And Ching with seven goals in 13 games in his career against New York coming on. Trying to post up Cooper, but it was Boswell stepping up to knock it away. Uh, 
Slip through. Makuma Kanji trying to get it behind him. Connor Lane. Kanji in on Don X and just puts it wide. Well, we saw virtually the same opportunity in the first half. Perfectly weighted ball in behind for Matt Kanji. Takes the angle, gets his head up, and instead of using the inside of his right foot, he elects to go outside of his left, looking to curl that ball around Bill Goddett, finding side net. For Matt Kanji, this is, this is going to continue to haunt him throughout his career. Found yourself in over in Germany and up in Norway, and he said, I found myself a more tactically sound player because I had three coaches, I went through a relegation process with Eintracht Frankfurt, and then I was sent on loan at Steibach. He said, for me, I learned some things the hard way, but most importantly, I became a sharper person all the way around. Or he has driven in off the bar. That fool got it. He was expecting the cross. And Houston unable to get on that rebound. We talked about Corey Ash not getting forward that much in the first 45 minutes. And he just strikes that off the bench tonight. And still coming back off a hamstring injury that costed him four games recently. Well, they sidestep that from Pontiac Garcia. Chance to get the cross away. Brian Chick puts it wide. Well, you see the pros of having a 4-3-3, and that's Matt Kanji can tuck in and virtually switch with Brian Ching. And the one player you do not want marking Brian Ching, Connor Lay. Such a size advantage in favor of Brian Ching. And, and now Pintieri on Reed just keep this ball upfield. As he hands off for Tim Cahill. About two minutes to go at the referee's discretion. Lovely sidestep by Cahill. Flag stays down. Thierry Henry is onside. He's got Young Gunnar Soli in the center. And the New York Red Bulls are going to retake first place in the Eastern Conference. And the Houston Dynamo making it so difficult for the New York Red Bulls to find that possession going forward. That outlet of Cahill, and it was finally Thierry Henry, skips away from two defenders, stays on, it looked like he was off. He gets in behind, there's nothing Tally All can do about that. Young Gunner solely gets on his horse, recognizing that Thierry Henry was in unmarked, no pressure whatsoever. Simple, simple tap in for Young Gunner solely. A play that's built, and the credit goes to solely Tim Quint. And that's all. A professional performance by the Houston Dynamo to home a week ago. A professional performance by the New York Red Bulls at home tonight. A 2-0 victory and back top of the Eastern Conference.